baby. All right. Oh, I can hear myself. Hang on a minute. All right, let's straighten everything up here. Hello, Naomi. That's looking a bit better. online today we are going to we've got lots of awesome specials today so while I'm just getting myself organized here I will tell you all about them we have got some fabulous one day only specials with Natalie May scrapbooking so we have got some awesome specials which are only available today like I said, but we have some which are extending over the weekend. We have one day only, 15% off of dyes. Now that includes, we've got a ton of All and Create dyes. We've got some dyes from Paper Rose, Uniquely Creative, a uh, great range of dyes and something to suit everybody. We have got 15% off of stamps. So Funky Fossil, Carabel, Uniquely Creative, We've got some Paper Rose, we have got Paper Artsy, we've got Funky Fossil, Dina Wakeley, Tim Holtz. We have a huge range of stamps available. Now, we also have 15% off of thickers. So I absolutely love using thickers on my project. Thickers, of course, are alphabets, sticker sheets, things like that where you can add easy titles to your projects. Uh, what else we got? Uniquely Creative, uh, another brand that we have available on special, so for today only. Uh, we also have selected collage paper on special, uh, some dyes, clearance, up to 40% off on clearance, and to Christmas 2023 as well. So... Something really cool that we do every single online show that we do is our no judgment postage. We're doing it a little bit differently this year and you and it will benefit you. So after you place your first order, we you will receive a, a confirmation email and you will then get a secret code for you to get free postage on your rest of your orders for the weekend. And what we do is we collate them all together. We put them all together so uh, so that, you know, you only have to pay postage once. Really important thing on this, uh, postage is not free. As you all know, the cost of postage is absolutely going through the roof worldwide at the moment. We cannot offer free postage. We are a small, happy little business uh, we still have to pay postage, so unfortunately, so do you. But what we can do is bundle everything together to help you out. This is for Australia only. This is, uh, it also applies for a 1.5 kilo weight limit. Anything above one and a half kilos will be in touch and there'll be just a small real-time postage fee. Yes, Charmaine, stupid postage. I understand that, but let's just say, for me to order in stock for you guys, uh, I could buy a house with how much I spent on postage this year. I could tell you, it's ridiculous. But it's all part of the business, and it's part of the business that we love bringing to you. So, what else have we got here? All right, nothing. Let's smash into it. I would like to do an art journal page.
So I'm going to do an art journal page with, in my craft journal, in my Dina Wakeley craft journal. And I'm going to use one of my girls here. I'm going to, this is Tanner and Kez. So Tanner and Kez are my two closest friends. Two of my closest friends. Two or three. Two, two of the three. Um, and I'm going to use this one today, I believe. So it's also on special and I do believe they're 15% off. I'm going to just tear straight down there and I'm going to do a water tear so it is lovely and nice and soft. Hello Sandy, hello to everyone. So I like to do a water tear so that I don't end up with a perfectly sharp Edge. I find for me it blends in a bit better to go through this process and tear it off. Now personal preference, I know that other people like to cut their collage paper. Um, I like to do it this way. And softening the fibres of the paper will make it much easier to tear. And heaven forbid I clean up as I go. Okay. So she's going to go down here. Now, I have prepped my journal page with some clear gesso first. So the Dina Wakeley craft journals are fabulous to use, but they are thirsty, thirsty, thirsty journals. So they soak up a lot of paint. In order to stop that happening, I like to give it a coat of clear gesso so that it doesn't make it as thirsty and it the paper will um, not soak up so much paint. All right, I'm just gonna grab some paint. So I'm gonna go some Dina Wakeley paint today. And I've just realized I left them all on my desk over here because these are the some of the colors that I'm going to use in my class that I'm teaching in Brisbane in a month's time, two months time, a month and a half, something like that. So if you are in Brisbane and you would like to come and do a class with me, I have a one day only opportunity to come and do that for you to come and do a class. All right, I'm going to use a wide paintbrush. This is an Art by Marlene paintbrush. And she's going to sit here on my page. I know that that's going to happen today. Um, I'm going to channel my inner Claire. For those of you who know, one of our fabulous guest teachers is the delightful Claire from the UK, otherwise known as Art Journal Love. And something that Claire does is she does... <laughs> Damn it. She does this really, really cool... Um, technique of, you know, she loves colour, loves adding colour to the project. So I'm going to do exactly that with a bit of a, a loopy sort of rainbow and we're going to blend them all together. But I'm going to do this in lots of shades of blue. Now I know that my girl is going to sit here so I wanted that to, look I'll finish that in the perfect spot, connect to her head. So keeping it really, really simple. And then I'm just going to get my next colour on. I've got a Dilusions London Blue. I'm not using a ton of paint. This is like a five cent piece worth. And I'm going to get in here and layer that on. 
Now you've noticed I haven't washed my brush. There's no need to wash my brush for this purpose and I'm just lightly overlapping. Um, however, I am going to use a piece of paper towel and just take any excess paint off of there. Next colour I'm going to do is I might go for sapphire and then go into some of the greens perhaps. Sapphire, is it one of the newer Dina Wakely colours? Gorgeous colour. Just a nice big flow, letting those colours just touch. Love it. And now I'm going to go into marine. So marine is a really lovely deep blue green. Taking the excess paint off my brush. So what I love about Dina Wakely paints is that they are a heavy bodied acrylic paint which means that they are nice and thick and juicy and that the colours, um, that they've got a little bit more body to them, they're a little bit bolder. That's the best way to describe it I think for me. This next colour is called Malachite. Now Malachite is... Uh, again, like Sapphire from one of her latest releases, this is a gorgeous tone. Are you crafting always? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. Just using scissors. Just using scissors. Okay. Still on the right track there. Get into my middle bit. I will be stenciling over the top of this in a minute. And I'm going to finish with some turquoise. It is a blue rainbow. Not a new technique, just a really bold and fun technique. And most importantly, it's something that anybody can do. Lightly overlapping, and I like it. It is a nice blue rainbow. So the other thing I want to do, so she's going to be at the bottom of my blue rainbow, but I've got no colour on this edge here, so I probably need to extend my, my blue rainbow down here, oh, just a little bit on the side. So I'm going to go in with some blue, not too far in. And that's the blue that I'm going, that's all I'm doing. And that will be enough. I may need to put some white over this as well. Uh, let's. Now hit that with the heat gun and dry it off. Lynn, I'm not even gonna ask Louise to help me. That is not her superpower. After five years working together, we've established that and that is fine. And I can't play netball, which is her thing. All right, gonna add a little stenciling now and I wanna add some stenciling using my, two of my oldies but goodies. So two of my favorite older 
stencils um, from the very first time I released stencils. So the double dots. Double dots is because everybody needs dots. And then this guy here is, uh, and I explained this one in my online class I taught on the weekend. Um, this is one of the very first ones I designed and I'm going to show you how we're going to stamp with that in a moment. So let's get in here. I'm going to go with a combination of some of these blues that are on my mat. Making a new colour. And that's okay. And I'm going to use the big dots. Overlapping. I come down here. And I'm going to sneeze. I do like colour on colour, like here. Uh, I'm going to get some more up in here. A bit more over here. So I've used up some of that, uh, some of that colour that was actually on my mat. So ladies, I'm just going to step out of the room to sneeze. Won't be a second. <laughs> and Louise is laughing at me. Sorry, I'm back. Because you know when you blow your nose, you then, oh, sorry, you sneeze and you have to blow your nose. Ugh. Anyway, big issues. Uh, now I've looked at it, I need a couple of dots over here. Right. Perfect. And I can add to it a bit later if I needed to. Um... That's a good start. I know that she's going to go there. So let's think about now incorporating. Let's stick her down, actually. Let's do that. So gel medium is what we need for sticking that down. Um, and gel medium is our number one adhesive for doing this. Now, I've chosen, I'm just thinking, do I need to put a little bit of white under here? Yes, I do. Because I'm going onto a brown back, background, but so I'm going to use a little bit of gesso. That's way too much gesso, so I'm just going to... And I'm perfectly fine with some coming out the side. That's a bit better. So now when we put that on, if there's anything that's coming through underneath here, then it's not going to show through on her face. And a bit more over that area. That's an excessive amount. I'm going to add some white in in a minute, so that's fine. And I'm just going to heat set that. So I hope everybody's having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Here in Adelaide, it is boring and overcast and grey and damn cold. We've had all the heaters running in here. Okay, clean, dry, paintbrush. Right, let's get back to that gel medium. So gel medium is our adhesive. Um, I very, very rarely do I put gel medium onto my collage paper and stick it down. You will find you get a much nicer, smoother finish 
if you stick your gel medium, if you put your gel medium onto your page like this, and then pop your girl into place or your, your collage paper into place and go over the top. And it's the way that I've described it in the past, it's like putting contact on school books. As you go around, start at the top and push out any air bubbles. Make sure all your edges are sealed, just like that. And that you don't miss any bits. Then you've got, oh, put me, those colours match perfect. Then you're going to get a really good adhesion and it looks flawless on your page, which is the effect that we're going for. We are looking for a lovely flawless image. And you won't get any creases or lines if you do it this way. Uh, very, very easy for everyone. But definitely the thing that makes it work really well is using the right product. So using gel medium to do this is what you want to be doing. Now, if you think, oh, I've put too much on, use your fingers and give it a light polish. Take off any extra on some paper towel. And what happens is it takes off any extra, gets out, gets rid of any brush strokes that you might have and makes it dry so much quicker. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So with your paintbrush, make sure you dry, uh, put it straight into water because it's like, a, this is a glue essentially. And what happens is it will make your paintbrush go rock hard. So I'm gonna dry that off. Bring it up to camera in a minute. You'll be able to see that it's white underneath her face. Uh, and then I'm going to extend some paint down over to here with my finger. And then we will be stenciling over and adding some stamping and some marks in here as well. Have I got anybody watching Naomi? There's a couple of couple of people there. Always nice. Okay, nice clean paintbrush. And dry paintbrush. And now I'm going to take some of these colours that we used before and I'm just going to push them over the top here with my finger. Need a bit more paint. Um, we used marine next. Where's marine? Night marine. And I dropped one on the floor before, so it's going to have to stay on the floor because it rolled under my table. But what I'm doing is I'm now, I know you can't see with my hand over the top, but I'm pushing, pushing that colour over there, blending it back that way. Uh, we used sapphire next. A little bit of sapphire. A little bit of overlap. Not going over her nose. Because that's not good. that other one the sky on the floor so I need to find a similar blue because I don't want to have to get under my table so we'll go with that color which is an art by Marlene one 
Same, same, but different. We're going to make it work. And that's pretty good. That works for me. Oh, except, guess what, guys? Didn't do this side, did I? Why didn't anybody point that out? Goodness. So just incorporating into the page. Yeah, that works. Okay. I like it. I'm happy with that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next. So, how about, oh, I do have that really gorgeous leaf stamp from Dana Wakely out still. Um, I wanna add a bit more, hello. Hello, just a quick question, sorry. That black wax lot, um, mm -hmm. did you take that off the shelf? I didn't use one, it's over there. There's only one. All oh, right, so we've only got white left. Mm. I didn't. I used some out of my personal stash. Okay. okay. I don't know Thank you. Sorry. No worries. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. That whole running a business thing. So let's go with. Let's use a bit of this for some for some white. I know that I want to get rid of this. So I've got this weird thing on the top of her head here. Um, something I quite often do with. These, um, when I'm working with this uh, paper, on this paper, is I use desert sand. Desert sand is a really good colour, like craft, for hiding things. Um, desert sand is a dilutions colour. Really, really handy to have in your stash. So, what I mean by that is if I want to take... A little bit of desert sand and cover up little bits of little areas I can so if I bring that up to camera you can't really tell where that desert sand has covered up the white collage paper but desert sand and craft are just a beautiful beautiful combination so any bits where you want to blend the collage paper into your project a bit more, into your craft, then this is going to be the colour for you. So that desert sand has worked beautifully to cover up on the top of her head. And you can see the paint, but it will blend into the background quite nicely. Okay. Next is... Making a clean spot. I'm going to add some more stenciling. I might add some leaves. I've got my branching out stencil. Now, this is actually very similar to a page that I saw the lovely Claire do on YouTube, now that I think of it. Um, my branching out stencil is another one that I hand drew when I first released my stencils. Um, I do love my branching out stencil. I do love the way that it creates this beautiful, easy, that's too dirty, beautiful, easy print that, so I hand drew these and you can tell that I've hand drawn them. It's very, very obvious. Um, get another tool here. And I'm just going to use gesso out of the lid onto here first, just to thin it out. Um, and I'm going to pounce it onto my page.
Yeah, 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 like that. I'm going to add some stamping into my background as well and I need a bit more paint, gesso, white paint, whatever floats your boat. no idea where I'm going with this like I said this is me creating on the fly for those of you just tuning in for the first time I am creating some little bits of art as part of the great international craft show to show you some bits and pieces and to inspire you show you that you can create using lots of fun and easy techniques that don't have to be difficult um, and I love doing this this is something I enjoy like I said something that is easy for anyone to do and doing it in an art journal is really really fun because the best thing is is if you don't like something or you know you think oh you know what maybe maybe I could have done that differently then you just turn the page and and try it again on a different page um, never ever Rip your page out of your journal, okay? Never do that. You can't learn from your mistakes if you can't see them. I should put that on a stencil, shouldn't I? I think your phone just beeped, Lou, or the shop phone. Right, there we go. I'm going to stop there. So what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of um, white in with some stamping and a stencil, but I don't want it to be a like a super, super intense white. So I'm going to tone it back by mixing it with some desert sand. Uh, so I'm going to get some paint on there and I'm going to use my palette knife. Uh, if I drop that one more time it is not sky, oh sky. there's the sky that I needed 15 <laughs> minutes ago okay so I'm making my own light beige sort of color here to work with the background spreading it out like that and now I'm going to use this guy and I'm going to pick up the paint with the stencil give it a little jiggle um, I have a piece of paper towel and I'm just going to stamp it onto my page like that. Now, at this point, it's a bit more intense than I want it to be. I want it more like that. So I can just take my paper towel and just give it a dab, take a little off. So we're using the Gridlock stencil as a stamp instead of Oh, I nearly got it on her face. Uh, instead of using it as we would traditionally do as a stencil. Right. And a bit up here. And knowing when to stop is important. Cleaning off this paint. Right, so that is the gridlock stencil. 
So it's added a really interesting little bit of colour to the background. Um, so we are building our ugly background, I guess. We're building our background before we can add um, to work around our focal point. So two more steps I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to add some stamping in a moment. And some detail with a pen. All right, so let's bring that up to camera and I'll show you how that looks so far. There's that stencil that we have turned into a stamp and that really light sand beige sort of color works really, really nicely. Okay, let that dry. You could do it in gold as well. Gold might have looked really, really nice. Hindsight, I really would have liked to have used gold. In fact, I still can use gold. Why don't I use gold? I'm going to add some gold. I'm going to add some Reeves gold. No, I'm not because I can't find it. I'm going to use some Art by Marlene gold. Now, the Reeves gold is my choice, but I can't find it at the moment. But it is this, it's this beautiful light, light colour. And that is what I'm looking for. Um, it's a really lovely light gold. It's not a strong, heavy gold. Okay, loading up my sponge. So it's quite, um, quite pretty. It's quite pretty on the skin. Okay, this time... We are going to stencil around our page. Puts a beautiful sheen over things as well. And we're going to stamp over this too, so it's going to get pushed to the background. And I'm trying to make sure that all of my stenciling is connected to an edge and not floating around so that it is, uh, it's a bit more coherent on your page. Grounded. Grounded, thank you, Louise, grounded on my page. All right, gold shimmer, pretty, pretty, pretty. And there's a bit coming up over her, so that's doing two things, it's incorporating her into the page, um, it's covering up something that I didn't want to be seen and to be made as prominent. Uh, and I really love that. Okay, let's crack on to it. Doing well. Bit of stamping. And then I'm going to um, hit it with a black pen. So stamping. What am I going to use for stamping? I'm going to use Claire's Dots. So Claire's Dots is a staple that everyone must have. If you don't have one, uh, highly recommend. If you do have one, Highly recommend getting one to have as a backup. Just saying, and they are 15% off today. But Claire's dots are beautiful. Connecting them to my leaves, connecting them to my edges, not using it as a whole um, stamp. I'm just using it organically where it's half on, half off. Um, but connecting it to, like I said, the leaves and the edges where possible. Okay. One more stamp I want to add, and that is my... That's, uh, what's it called? Won't let you down. I love some words. I just need to find it because I don't have it handy. Gosh, Natalie, get it together. You know why? Because I put it away in its case. So speaking of cases, if you do an order with Natalie and purchase the uh, purchase a stamp set, 
that I have designed. You can also, for a very low amount, I think of like $4.95, get the matching storage case. Yeah, good thing everything's at arm's reach here, I can tell you. Okay, so this is my Won't Let You Down stamp. First thing you always do is stamp on a piece of paper towel to make sure the words are up the right way. But this is my go-to favourite ever stamp. And again, just using it organically around my page. Connecting to areas where I've done stamping before and it helps build a little bit of interest. So I am using black archival ink because it is going to be more permanent and I haven't decided, is this completely finished? Am I going to be adding more colour or something over the top? Um, so you need to make sure that using a black archival ink will give you that ability to do that. Or using an archival ink. Okay, I'm happy. This just needs some black pen and then some white pen. Black pen, you could use anything that you like. And I'm gonna start over here. And I'm going to just draw around my leaves. So when you are using a paint pen, find the paint pen or the pen that works for you. Most of you know I'm a bit of a junkie when it comes to a paint pen. I have all the paint pens in the world here and they I use them all. I do have favorites that I use. The Life of Color pens are currently my favorite. Um, closely followed by the Art by Marlene ones, which I've just done a third order to get some more in. All right, so they are coming in again. So I just wanted this to be fairly scribbly. So some of the areas I'm going over a second time. So I'll rub my sleeve over it. So trying to, I find when I'm doing a process like this, doing something and trying to make it perfect is going to make it worse. So if you're after more of a relaxed, I drew it myself sort of look, which is essentially what we're trying to do, then making sure that you go outside the lines or or just allowing your hand to, to draw it is going to give you a, a much better finish. So, all right, so while I'm doing this, I'm just going to bang on a bit more about our specials for today, um, which I'll put in front of me so I don't make a mistake. So we have got for one day only, stamps 15% off. Okay, not to be repeated. We have got stamps, dyes, thickers, and uniquely creative products um, at 15% off. You can also get select range of Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers uh, and dyes at 15% off. And what else have we got? We've got 40%, up to 40% off in our clearance section. There is so, there's funky fossil stamps in clearance that are, the only reason they're in clearance is because we've run out of room on the shelf. So um, they're whacked in clearance just because we've only got one or two left of them. So have a look through our clearance section. We've got some awesome Vicky Booten products um, on special as well. Some great little bundles. Uh, which I do believe some of you have found already. And I believe some of you have also found the last of our Scrap Effects bundles. So Scrap Effects, we have got some 
Last of, I think we've got three bundles left. Tw uh, 10 products for 20 bucks. So they are online as well. Do a search for scrap effects and you shall be pleasantly surprised. Uh, what other little bargains are there? Lots of little goodies anyway. So your um, with our postage, eleven ninety five Australian flat rate postage. Uh, international, if you are living outside of Australia and want some of these goodies, then we do a flat rate postage of thirty dollars. Now with New Zealand, if you are the reason why we do thirty dollar flat rate is because we have everything packed and tracked for. Packed and tracked for look so your, your product arrives safe and sound, okay? And that's really important to us. Um, you are paying good, hard-earned money for your products. So whether or not you're in Australia or New Zealand, we wrap everything for you like it is a gift. All right. I am going to bring this up to camera just to show you what I've done and... I'm going to start adding a, few, adding a few little doodles now. So you can see I've started doing a bit of a doodle here. I'm going to doodle around the top here. I'm really glad that I added this gold. Um, and I think it needs some white dots to finish. Uh, and she needs, I need some words. She needs a bit of a title, doesn't she? So with an art journal page, I like to put a nice big quote or a phrase or something that resonates with my page. My scribbling doesn't say anything. It's just not that you can read anyway. Um, it's, I'm just creating simple marks and that's the reason I like to do this. Um, Dina Wakeley calls it a semic writing. Um, I just call it a nat scribble. I think that it works for me. You can, the trick is not to actually write anything, I think. So, all right. She needs some white dots and then we need a sentence. I could use thickers. Good point, Naomi. All right, that means I need to, I need to find a white paint pen first of all. Hang on a sec here. I could use thickers. Oh, I have to get down in my, on the floor. Okay, I've got a big fat juicy Posca pen. Um, and I'm just going to do a white dot here, a couple down here, in the busy areas, and it takes the focus away and pushes things to the background. Don't hate that. And knowing when to stop is important. Shouldn't have put that there, but there it is. Um, I'm just going to find uh, some thickers. Hold that thought. That's a really good point, Naomi. And thank you for doing that. Reminding me. All right. I'm not going to be able to find what I need. I can tell you right now can you see my scribbly bits on there i want something with a word louise no i want a word so these are all my thickers years and years of maybe a maybe a um a vicky Booten one And look, here's another basket. I can't find what I need, Lou, which is of no shock to anyone. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I do have something. 
So I keep, I've got three baskets of thickers, right? So they can be, I'm not allowed to open more. So we could use, you could use something like this where you have, um, look, here's an instant phrase to put on your page. Better days, um, fresh start, epic, epic fresh start, dreams, dreams, follow your dreams, ha uh, follow your handsome dreams. Okay, so that is how I use these stickers. You can um, that one if you want. Oh, look, let's not open one. Let's, let's use something from my stash. Surely. I don't often let you have something. Oh, no, you don't. Um, surely I can find something here. Here we go. I'm going to use. Oh, bloody hell, I don't know. Hang on. I've got to pull something out of here, right? I'm going to make it work without opening another packet. Um, let's have a look. Nothing there. Don't like those. I think I like... Today was beautiful. So the way that I use these, and these just make your titles, putting titles on things, so easy. You place them out. These little love hearts are cute too. I can I can work those somewhere. Let's do that. See? Super cute little love heart. Right on her face. So beautiful is my big word, right? That's my biggest word. So what I'm trying to do here is establish where I want that to go. I'm pretty sure that needs to go there. So I'm going to place my big word down first. Now I pull these off of here with a pair of tweezers, not stretching them out of place. Peel back the acetate. So that everything remains unstretched and in exactly the right place. And then we have this beautiful word, which now has white on it. Now, what I really like about this is the colour is not even... paint there it should be right it's kind of like a, a purple because my dots were still wet pair of tweezers I do believe that we had some uniquely creative tweezers too and they will be on special can recommend done you are beautiful but I don't believe I've got the word are I've got you today Now the word today comes off in two pieces. So when you're putting a project, something like this on, you just put down the bulk of the word first. What is it, two and then day? No, it, it's just that the T is not connected to the O. So what is that spelled? O-day. O-day, O-day, O-day was beautiful. Radio. I'm happy with that. Now, I've added that gold heart. Hate it now. Peeling it off. But that's okay. I'm going to pop it up here. 
And then I'm going to add some of these other little gold bits. I'm going to keep them on the craft, on the gold area. Um, easy, easy way. A lot of you don't love putting your handwriting on things, and this is the way to do it. Can recommend. They are stickers made for you. Building your titles the easy, easy way. Okay, adding your embellishments, adding your bits and pieces. Another little heart. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. That is done. I'm calling it done. I'm not going to touch her. I am happy with how that looks. She's blended into the page pretty nicely. Um, and that, that works. We've used a few different techniques in the last hour. We have created a page that is layers, simple layers. Uh, so for you what playing along at home, don't overthink it. Work in the layers. Build up that background. Um, I'll take a photo of this and, and pop it on the, on the Facebook page so you'll be able to refer back to it and you can always go back and watch this tutorial and create create your own as well all right so just to recap today being thursday the 18th on nataliemay.com.au you can get dyes at 15 percent off stamps at 15 percent off thickers now these guys here are your thickers your alphabets your words those bits and pieces Anything in the thickers category on the website, 15% off. Uh, uniquely Creative Products, 15% off. There are some exclusions as well, okay? So uh, just ensure that when you're having a look, if you think, get to the checkout and you say, oh, it's not discounted, that's because it's not on special, all right? Um, Natalie made collage papers, quite a, probably two thirds of them. Uh, I think there's only maybe 10 designs that are not on special. The other 40 or so designs are on special at 15% off. This little lady here, she's 15% off. Check out our clearance. Check out our Christmas 2023 as well. And after you do your first order, you will be emailed a discount voucher so that you can add to your order over the next couple of days and um, you can take advantage of the great special that we have going tomorrow as well. Um, there you go. That's enough from me. I will see you back here in an hour for a bit of a chit chat about classes and a few of the other little things that we do around here. And I look forward to seeing you all then. See ya.